Well, good morning. We're just getting things ready to head off uh, this morning, but trying to diagnose an issue we created yesterday coming in last night. But uh, we suffered a bit of a casualty, so Kevin is out of commission again. He won't turn on. Uh, strange things happening. Hopefully it's not a computer, but we noticed that the gears that we repaired around this time last year in almost the same place have uh, made a bunch of grinding noises and stuff again. So I'm actually going to just pull the whole drive motor out this morning and mothball it until uh, later today we're going to get into a port where there's actually a dealer who hopefully has the parts to fix them once we get that done then we can find out if we need a computer or if it was just this thing is that uh, is the issue but kevin is man down again he worked hard yesterday but he's man down we were wondering if it was all the sargasm or just the, the weather helm we were getting and stuff but he definitely was working hard so <sighs> Things were going so good. Typical. Typical Kevin. crazy day that was we uh we decided not to stop in dominica like we had planned the weather was just so perfect and fantastic that we carried on all the way to martinique and made it into saint pierre last night around nine, nine o'clock yeah. yeah and it was a challenge coming in here to it was. an anchorage and anchoring in the dark, <laughs> in the dark. And... yeah but the cool thing was our sail was epic coming across it was. we just didn't want to stop the day was so perfect the conditions were so amazing the boat was functioning so awesomely and so we just had to carry on and kind of get to our end zone because we know that storm is coming and we wanted to be somewhere safe before the blow hit and somewhere where we could uh do things yes not just be stuck somewhere yes so we we know when we get to saint anne uh and lumberin is that mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. yeah there's chanderlees there's, we can shop we can get groceries we can do everything there so yeah it seemed like the best option and it's it's well protected yeah so so as night hit you know how everything goes sideways as soon as that <laughs> sun goes down it was crazy and wouldn't you know it Kevin's dead. Kevin died. <laughs> he did. It's seized up. So our autopilot stopped working. We had, actually we were gusting into the 20s. And um, I know there was a lot of weather helm, but all day we were going through a ton of sargasm. And I don't know what did it, but mm -hmm. the gears are blown out in Kevin again. And uh, it won't turn on or anything. So it died. And the gear, the engine doesn't even turn. Anymore. No, like I, I can't even turn it now. It's just, it's toast. And I don't know. I mean, we just had them rebuilt a year ago, and we had to go through this whole thing without autopilot yeah. last year. Yes. Same place. So there is a dealer here. We're hoping that we can fix it. If not, then it's going to be a huge kick in the nuts to replace it. So <laughs> we're uh, we're trying to figure all that out right now. But we have about a five-hour go this morning to get yeah. to Lummerin, and uh, then we'll get parked. And then we have two days before the weekend hits to see if we can get this sorted so we can leave again. <laughs> we are in a rush yes as you know we're in a hurry to get south and this is not in the scheduled plan it's not so anyways we're off again we just wanted to give you the update and have a sad moment of yeah. silence for kevin Wish hopefully him well. he gets better i hope so it doesn't uh last time even when the gears went i could rotate it the motor would turn so it was just really sloppy but now it's like seized it's seized or something it's bound right up so yeah We'll see. I'll we'll keep you updated. Fingers crossed it yes. all comes out good. <laughs> Send us happy thoughts, please.
after a very treacherous and bouncy ride down the island, we finally make our way into St. Anne, where we can hopefully get Kevin fixed and not replaced. We just got back from dropping our good buddy Kevin off and for those of you who are new, new here and don't know who Kevin is, Kevin is our autopilot. When we got here the other day I pulled the drive unit out, I could see that it was locked up, I assumed that it was gears, we replaced the gears in it last year. Um, so we went to the local guy here who works on them and we learned a lot about them actually. They're about a 25 year old gear drive system that Ray Marine developed and they're very robust, they last a long time hence ours being 20 years old. Um, and he was explaining how over the course of the 25 years that they've been in the market, they've replaced and upgraded uh, just a few components on it. Um, your typical sailor will do month, two months, three months on the water. They won't be running them super hard like a, an Atlantic crossing or a Pacific crossing or things like that. We use ours 90% of the time when we're underway. It's just convenient. It actually steers better than we do. Um, it's an amazing tool and resource on the boat. So what they've done over time is they've changed the gearing inside from plastic to brass. They originally had uh, nylon plastic gears in them because they were quieter and they just, for your average sailor, that was perfect. But they were starting to have failures, so now they've upgraded them to their brass now. Um, we have the upgraded ones from last year. Uh, the other failure that would happen commonly on them is at about the 20 year mark, the magnets on the inside of the case for the electric motor were glued in place and over the course of 20 years with heat and expansion and contraction and stuff the glue would break down finally and let go and this the magnet would actually stick to the winding pretty sure that's what ours was so he had a good look at it explained a lot of really good things to us and suggested that we rebuild it a replacement one for that here is 2300 euros which is really not in our budget at all Worst case scenario, I guess we'd have to buy one because we cannot be without it. We need the autopilot. We need it to sail. We need it for long passages. It's uh, it's like having two more crew members on the boat, honestly. And um, so we've dropped it off. We've left it with the guy here. He's gonna let us know after the weekend. Hopefully we get Kevin back and he's 100%. After dropping Kevin off, we needed to digest the reality of the situation. If he wasn't repairable, we would need to purchase a whole new autopilot, which clearly isn't in our cruising budget. So it's time to take a minute to collect our thoughts before getting into the next boat project. Simple projects are never simple on a 20 year old boat. It's not. I mean, look, look how tight this is between the wall and then the sink. So this old faucet broke and stopped working so we need to replace it but the nut where it is on the bottom is got about a half an inch on either side of it and it's all rusted out and there's no way to get anything in there you'd need a really deep socket about that deep and it's about that big like i don't know inch and a quarter maybe it's big something that we wouldn't have on board so our plan is is we're actually going to take a hacksaw and cut it from the top and then see if it knocks its way through if not, we at least remove part of it. <laughs> Bonuses. Right? It doesn't work now, so what difference does it make if we completely break it, right? Right. Ask me this all along. <laughs> Did it work? Not yet, no. No. <laughs> we were hoping that when we cut that, that it was 
the actual post that goes through this the countertop would be exposed and then we could just drive it through but it didn't so we just basically have that to deal with now so excellent okay. so nothing to grip and turn anymore uh, it doesn't look like it but okay. This is 90% of boat jobs. You picture it in your mind's eye and you think of what it looks like down there and then you just have to figure it out. And then you like this. <laughs> Put your tongue to the side and make a winky eye. <laughs> and pretend you're actually in that space with it. Looking at it. Yeah. Oh, there, you go. <laughs> there it is. Oh, there, that's how it goes. We finally got the nut to um, wiggle free. And so... Yeah, that's what we did. We wheeled it free. <laughs> yeah, we're getting there. We got the nut to wiggle free. So you solve one problem and a new one pokes its head. We've got the old faucet out, which is super fantastic. However, the space between here and here is a little bit shorter than we thought it was going to be. It actually, the faucet fits in there just fine, but the problem is we can't now open our mirror up so this whole space becomes useless so now we get to take this entire mirror cabinet and lift it up about an inch so that everything in here will fit and we can use the faucet at the same time <laughs> it's never easy my friend this is what we're doing so we have to drill a much bigger hole with a hole saw and put the new one in you can see the mark there but to do that we had to screw a piece of wood to the bottom so that the hole saw will stick through there. <laughs> Fact, we're getting close. It's getting there. It's getting there and the house is a disaster. Ah! Okay, we have all of our new fittings in. We got our faucet installed. I just have to press these on. These are 15 millimeter shark bite fittings. So hopefully they um, are good. I've cut the ends of the lines so that they're fresh line uh, going into them. Let's go. Hopefully no leaks. I got some water pressure. Cold. Get another air out. Okay, the other way. Okay, now close it. Baby, we did it. We got to stay. <laughs> Yay, get me out of the hole. <laughs> Install a sink. It'll be quick and easy. You won't need every damn tool in your house out because that's always the case on the boat. <laughs> but we did it, it's done. Yay, we actually have a working sink in the bathroom again. Great news, we just got the message and Kevin is ready to get picked up. We don't know the ins and outs of what's going on yet, so we'll fill you in a bit, but we do know that it's fixed. Triple bypass. Woo. Yeah, <laughs> Let's hope it's all good. This is awesome. Yes. Because we really were not in the position to buy a new Kevin. No, I no. I don't even call him Kevin anymore. I don't even know. There's so many questions. Starting to rain. We got a boogie. Okay, let's go. Let's go get our autopilot. <laughs> what you got there? I got my little buddy Kevin back in the bag here. <laughs> so. The figures that the service that was done in it last time maybe was done a bit incorrectly. There was some loose um, screws inside. One of them had backed out and then fell into the gears and damaged the gears and locked it up. So it wasn't an electric motor or anything. It was just literally a gear failure. So it has been repaired and we're going to take them back and try them out. Okay, we just got back to the boat. I just put Kev back in there. There's a moment of truth. Let's hope he works. Okay, baby, can you turn him on? Hooray! He's back! Is it working? He's working! Awesome! Welcome home, Kevin! Oh, it's so good to have you back. Missed him like crazy. We're gonna go have a beer now. <laughs> we got some catching up to do.
So we just left and guess what? Kevin is in control. We're so happy to have him back. He's working perfectly so far. We just left, but uh, uh, so far so good. We're pretty happy that he's repaired. We got a lot of little boat jobs done while we were here. It was actually good use of our time and uh, it's unfortunate he broke, but it's very fortunate we were able to get him repaired and such a short amount of time to get it back installed and working. We are out of here, off to St. Lucia. But now that Kevin's back in the boat and up and running, it's time to get our butts in gear and on to a new destination south. We have less than a month to get to Grenada before we're going to cross the Atlantic and we need to hurry. 